Fucking Rouse Fly Box. Today we're going to tie the Penn's Granum. This is a slight variation of the Penn's Granum. Uh, you've probably seen, if you've seen uh, the Penn's Granum in my book, One Small Trout, you'll uh, see that it's tied with a slightly different coloration. This particular pattern is tied for uh, a home water of mine, uh, Huntington Creek, Central Pennsylvania. Um, when the caddis pattern, when the caddis flies are coming off on Huntington Creek, this is uh, this is my pattern that I go to 90% uh, of the time for dry caddis, and uh, it does very very well that on both Huntington and uh, Fishing Creek. But uh, let's go over how I tie it. I start out with size 16 dry fly hook and brown uni thread. And I'll build my thread base and bring my thread back to about the point of the hook and leave the tag. And then I'll bring my thread back to the middle of the shank. At this point you're going to tie in. I take three modeled turkey tail fibers. I tie them in butt first because I want the, the rear end of the abdomen to be slightly larger as a natural caddis pattern is. Caddis fly tapers forward. And then bring your thread, once you tie that in, bring your thread up to the two-thirds point. Then you're going to sweep your thread and your fibers together. Uh, I use hackle pliers and a shepherd's hook to spin this, as many of you have probably seen. Uh, if you have a dubbing tool, by all means use it. This, uh, this is my preferred method. I learned with uh, this exact hackle plier and uh, that shepherd's hook, so I've stuck with it. It works for me. And be careful because this is a brittle material even when it's tied with the thread while you're winding it. Once it's tied in with the thread it's as durable as anything else. But while winding it, it can pop at times. See there goes one. Uh, just in time we finish the body. No harm, no foul. But uh, it doesn't spin well. Once tied in with that thread as a support it's a very durable body. And there we go. I like that. It gives a segmented and uh, slightly fuzzy look to the to the abdomen, as a caddis fly actually has. Next material you're going to tie in is a tan CDC feather. Um, I trim the tip out because I'm going to sweep my fibers forward. I'm going to sweep them forward and I'm going to tie it in right about where the stem is. But then I'm going to pull it through. So we're going to pinch wrap right in front of the abdomen. And what you want is you want you want the fibers of the CDC to extend about a gap length past the bend of the hook. If I've got some real long fibers, I'll pinch and snap them off versus cut them. And get it the right length you want it. They're going to be a little bit unruly, so don't worry about that. And trim the butts. Give a couple wraps so it don't spin. Next, you're going to tie in your elk hair wing. Your elk hair wing. Now, in this pattern, I tie it with ginger dyed elk. Uh, I tie it with bleached elk or natural elk in the original pattern. Like I said, this is a stream-specific variation. 
and you're going to tie in your elk slightly shorter than your CDC. And you're going to tie it in with tight wraps right off the bat. You're not flaring it right now. Just trying to make sure it stays on top. And then you're going to trim your butts. And then maintaining it where it is. Going to wrap those butts down, secure that wing in place. So if I missed a little bit of fuzz in cleaning that that hair. One standout hair there. Okay. Next, you're going to tie in your hackle. For this version of the Pens Granum, I tie in a silver badger hackle. Tie it in at the side of the hook. And then you're going to dub your thorax. I tie the hackle in, I use one size smaller than the hook because you're building a little bit of a thorax. Whenever you're tying a pattern where you're building up the thorax, you want to downsize your hackle, otherwise your hackle will come out looking extremely large because the diameter of your hook got bigger at the head. When I taper the thing, I start towards the eye whenever I'm tapering a, a thorax. And then I'll bring it back down towards the eye and my tie off point. And then you're going to bring your hackle forward. This is kind of like stimulator pattern style. I put one wrap right behind the thorax and then wind my thorax forward. You don't want too sparse of a hackle because you're going to trim the bottom. And then whip finish. And last but not least with this pattern, you are going to v-notch the bottom. You're going to come in from the bottom with your scissors, not the entire bottom. You're not trimming this off 180 degrees. You're coming in for about a third of the bottom hackle and about halfway up. You're going to trim it off. Just going to V notch the bottom. And then a small dab of Sally Hansen's. And the pattern is complete. Penn's Granum, basically the Penn's Granum Huntington Creek variety. Excellent summertime pattern, early spring. As soon as the caddis flies start to show themselves, I reach for this pattern. Uh, it does exceptionally well for me on the water. I hope it does for you as well. The Huntington Creek Penn's Granum. Thank you. Good luck on the water.